am the nerdy guardian who fights for virtual love and justice. I am Sailor Eli. Oof. It's been a hell of a weekend. Welcome back, darlings. Uh, I'm joined once more by my wonderful partner, Tuxedo Ken. Howdy, y'all. I'm from Texas. Well, me in Texas. Y yeah, you're... What am I doing? Oh, that's okay. It's called Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's what you're doing. So I think we've got... Oops. Uh, options. Okay, I've got Amiibos turned off. Um... You should try an amiibo sometime, just yeah. to see what it does. Good morning. It's a nerd! I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Link. You came to get your Shiga Slate fixed, correct? My name is Simon. I work here at the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab as Lady Pura's research assistant. If you have a question, please don't hesitate to ask it. Yeah, what do those books uh, right? say? You're real, uh, real helpful. Haven't you ever wondered what's in those books? Like, on the bookshelves? What do you mean? Oh, all these books? Yeah. Yeah, I guess, but... At least in Skyrim, you can check them out. <laughs> yes, I want to sit there and read every <laughs> book <laughs> while I'm playing a video game. Not read them. Just know what they are. Actually, they're... What the hell is that? Oh, it's just a... Is that a plane? What? Oh, that... that... thing hanging. Or oh, I think example? it's a model of a... One of the divine beasts, or something oh. like that. I thought there was a way to. I guess maybe we have to go outside to get upstairs. So there's a ladder with no purpose for it. Unless it's just like to lean against the bookshelves. Well, I think, yeah, I think it's like a, a thing. Like it's a flavor thing. You climb up the ladder and it'll help you get a book or something. What but like, flavor is a ladder? That's not. You know that's not what I mean. Maple syrup! <laughs> Man, I wanted to read Pura's diary. Well, ask her. Ah! <laughs> oh, look, a crate to break. Uh, is that I... is that Pura's room though, or is it? Are you too one floor too low? I'm probably too low. I was trying to see if I could do anything with that uh, telescope, uh -oh. but no. Wow, look at all those notes. How is the wind not blowing those away? Magic. Oh, here we go. Research diary for anti-aging room. Classified for Pura's eyes only. Date? Question marks? Work has finally begun on my anti-aging rune. If all goes to plan, I believe it will effectively reverse the aging process. This technology will enable us to make retired warriors young again, thereby strengthening the Hyrulean army. When Calamity Ganon... Calamity Ganon! ...inevitably returns, we'll be ready. Mm. Our offense will be solid and our defense impenetrable. The need for this tech pains me, but I truly hope to use it to attain everlasting peace for all. What? Oh, it reminds me of this comic where this, this warrior is going out in the battle, and he's got shot by a bunch of arrows, so he's almost dead, but he gets healed up. Then he gets shot, then he gets healed up. And he's like, well, one of you stop it, and at this point, I don't care who. <laughs> The beta version of my anti-aging rune is complete. I've already added it to the Sheikah slate I made for myself. Since I am to be the test subject of this experiment, Simon booted up the rune and directed its rays at my body. After 20 seconds of exposure, I felt extreme fatigue and broke into a fever, forcing us to cease the experiment. Was I that innuendo talk? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> you were so rough. She broke out into a fever. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! She had a fever, and the only prescription was, was more cal- Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. All right. Moving on. Unable to stay awake, I went to bed immediately. Tomorrow, I will try to figure out what went awry. Anti-aging experimental trial day two. My extreme full body fatigue is slightly improved, for which I am grateful. Still, I do not recognize the face in my mirror. It's Bob! Uh, my hair is- Oh, God. Yeah. Ooh. My hair is thick again and floor length. My wrinkles, once steep as trenches, have vanished without a trace. It seems the anti-aging effect works. However, I did not expect the reversal to happen so frighteningly fast. This morning, I kicked Simon awake and had him run a full physical exam on me. Ooh, physical. <laughs> it's like the most mundane uh, foreplay ever. <laughs> like, here, let me take your pulse. Well, it might be exciting for her. It's scientific data. Yeah. <laughs> Science me more. 
Uh, my height, weight, vision, bone density, heart, blood. We tested everything we could, pushing our facility to its limit. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, boy. Our discoveries were startling. My results were typical of a chica woman in her early 50s. In other words, I reversed my age by more than 70 years in a single night. She was 120 years old. I mean, she used to have long ass lives. When Link went to sleep. What? She was 20 when Link was put to sleep. If she's 120 and he's a, he was at asleep for 100 years? No, 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 no. This is back before all that. Oh! I, I believe so. I can only hope I do not awaken to find I have the body of a newborn baby. <laughs> it's only a matter of time, Benjamin Button. Benjamina Button. Anti-aging experimental trial day three. I awoke with an abundance of energy. It has been decades since I slept so well. Upon waking, I immediately checked the mirror, only to be greeted by a youthful version of myself. According to Simon's experimentation, or examination, whatever, I have the body of a chic woman in her 30s. 30 years old. I was around that age when I was first able to create, continue my research. Ugh. Excuse me, following the great calamity. Calamity! First thing, I, maybe maybe you're right. Maybe she was 20 when Link went to sleep, and then I don't Possibly. know. Possibly, the first what thing it seems like. the first thing I did was try to figure out how to expand the functionality of the Sheikah sensor. I was around 80 years old when that expansion was completed. I intend to bequeath this text to our sleeping hero. Ah. She mentions that he's sleeping, so yeah, she must have done this recently. Maybe she assumed he would age during that time. I hope to the gods that he will be able to assist in the destruction of the calamity that swallowed our Princess Hol Zelda whole. Ooh. Anti-aging experimental trial day four. After today's routine physical, the results show that I have a body of uh -oh. a Sheikah woman in her 20s. I haven't felt this good in a century. This is all taking me back to when the Great Calamity happened. Ganon had been dormant for 10,000 years. Perhaps his power has been had been building all that time. Well, yeah, it hadn't been used in... 10,000 years. Of course it's going to be building. <laughs> he's getting some real uh, blue balls down there. Is that why he's trying for Zelda? Oh, okay, boy. Okay, sorry. Uh, the slaughter that followed was arbitrary and merciless. The destruction complete. We lost everything. Hyrule Castle, Princess Zelda. Well, perhaps not everything was lost. A young, a youth named Link was brought to me a hundred years ago, covered in wounds and on death's doorstep. Link, so young, yet so courageous. Okay, yes, this is taking place recently then. <laughs> He was the youngest knight to have ever been appointed to the Imperial Guard at Hyrule Castle. Why they trusted a 14-year-old, I'll never know. He was also a gifted swordsman who was selected as a captain of Princess Zelda's personal guard. Actually, he's probably more like 17, 18. I thought his skills would be enough to defeat Ganon in glorious fashion. Since ancient times, the royal family of Hyrule and us Sheikah researchers have had a strong bond. Their pain is our own. We took the swordsman and the Sheikah slate Princess Zelda left behind to the Shrine of Resurrection. Although the slumber of restoration had not been fully tested, we decided to put the swordsman under to save his life. It was the best we could do. Jeez, this is... All amazing. that was on one page? Anti-aging experimental trial day five. I woke to something horrifying, a scarlet lump scarring my otherwise youthful face. After analyzing this monstrosity, I have come to the conclusion that it is just a pimple, a big one. The results of today's physical exam indicate that my body and mind have reverted to those of a teenager. I feel like Simon's look at me. I feel like Simon looks at me differently, which is ir which irritates me. I got angry when he insisted on running my blood test for me. I mean, really? What even? I can do it all by myself. <laughs> she even talks like a teenager now. In any case, I wonder what experiment we should focus on next. By the way, um, we have a new addition to our family. Um, the other day we had a terrible case of kitten and car engine. Yes. And, uh, so Ken's coworkers managed to get her out and we brought her home. And, uh, she is adorable and sweet and also rotten as hell because she will continue to jump on my lap. So he's trying to keep her occupied with a laser pointer. So if he misses anything, that's why. Um. Not my usual oblivious self. No, no, it's, it's. He's got a reason for his obliviousness today. Um, but then again, I do like looking at Zelda, hearing the dialogue, and thinking of dirty thoughts. <laughs> like, what kind of experiments to try next? Hmm, I wonder. Oh, my. Uh, but, yes, uh, among among that, you might also hear the jingling of a bell. That's because I got her a little collar. Um, it's, it's a little too big for her, too. 
Um, she should grow into it. Yeah. She doesn't seem to mind wearing it, which is nice. Um, but we named her Kia, because that's the model of our car. Well, the co-workers named her Kia. The co-workers so. named her Kia. Ken keeps call trying to call her after the, the daughter of an RP character that... Something, something. <laughs> and you were going to name her what? Alfie's. Yeah. But she doesn't really have an Alfie's personality, so it works out. No, she is like fully energetic cuddly yeah oh my gosh she keeps jumping into my lap sorry i'll keep going uh, she keeps jumping into my lap and just tearing my legs apart the blue flame in the furnace outside is growing weaker by the day i do hope the guidance stone doesn't stop working anti-aging experimental trial day six my age reversal has progressed further still i now look and feel like a six-year-old oh. my height has regressed so much that i can no longer reach things in high places it's super annoying where is that genius swordsman we place in slumber resurrection anyway? Or slumber restoration anyway? Wake up already! If he doesn't awake soon, my feature ex expansions for the Sheikah Slate, Sheikah Sensor will go to waste. Damn, I can't read. But even if he does manage to wake up, how can I be sure he'll find me here? I want to go and just kick Linky awake, but I <laughs> doubt Simon would help me. It'd be hard with my six year old body anyway. Instead, I think I'll begin working on a rune to unreverse my aging process. Anti-aging experimental trial day seven. This morning's exam results indicated that I am still age six, same as yesterday. Perhaps my age reversal has stopped. As luck would have it, today I also finished developing the beta version of an age-boosting rune. If successful, this should be able to reverse the effects of the anti-aging rune. Hope, I hope it will, anyway. All I need to do is increase the output and expose myself to its rays. However, when I tried to add this feature to the Sheikah Slate I made, I found that the Guidance Stone had stopped. What's more, the blue flame in the furnace has gone out, outside has gone out. I sent Simon to the ancient furnace, but he was too clumsy and it was raining and nothing went to plan. So I had to go down there to help, but a girl in the village saw me. What a mess I've made. Not only am I unable to continue my research in this state, I can only work by the light of gas lamps. What to do? All right. Finally done with that. You know, I I feel awkward now because I always thought it was because she uh, she was naturally short. I didn't realize that she was in a six-year-old body. Yeah. So that changes some things. All right. Let's see. What do I have to do? What do I have to do? I got to go to the back. Go to the back. I got to go back to Kakariko. I know someone else who can go back to Kakariko. No, uh, not really. Sorry. I just... I, that was said with no context, so... Yeah, it really was. Um, I have no idea. I'm partially distracted. I'm not even sure what that meant. <laughs> I am glad I got that collar for her because now, like, I can hear where she is. <laughs> yeah, this morning I came in, she was hiding behind the bookshelf. Oh, yeah. When I fed her. She likes to, uh... She likes to follow me, and so there's been a couple of times where I've nearly stepped on her. She is tiny Let's see if right I can now. Do this, yeah. She's no more than two months old. Now, one thing, and I, you'll have to teach me this, is that you had a friend tell you that just the laser pointer itself can cause anxiety. Yeah, it can apparently cause uh, cats to become kind of neurotic about catching things because they can't actually catch the laser pointer. Oh. It's not back. Are you still looking for that? What was it, fox? No. It's not a fox, it's a bunny. Oh, the bunny. Yeah, that's alright. <laughs> Whee! Perfect. I'm floating right into that eye. Oh, it went blind. <laughs> what were you doing? Uh, what were you thinking <laughs> I was doing? I heard Pura was giving you the runaround, but you seem just fine. See how, how her size is the same size as Pura Pura? Now then, let me see. Yeah, but she's old. I just figured that they were naturally that. Aha, without a doubt, the camera the Princess Zelda used a hundred years ago. No selfies? It could be that you visit the locations within those... That if you visit the locations within those pictures, you'll be able to restore some of your lost memories. 
Come back here once you've tried going to at least one of those locations. There's something I wish to give you. Oh, baby? Alright, great. And yeah, here, I'll use the camera rune and you can see. Oop. <laughs> Uh, let's see how do I do this. There we go. Look, it is a selfie cam. Oh yay! You're not even holding it. Did you put it on something? Uh, is it floating magically in front of you? Perhaps. Look at me! Take the picture, goddammit! Oh, clever. Now you're fondling her. No, I'm kidding. Holding Impa in the palm of my hand. There we go. Aww. There, I took a selfie. And it also registered my Spiked Boko Club. <laughs> so cool. That's yeah, there's hilarious. things you can do to take pictures of everything. Um, I know that was a lot of talking and barely anything got done, but we got it in the episode here. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Hello. I'll talk to you next mm -hmm. time. Hope you have a fantastic. Uh, hope you. Well, I do hope you have a fantastic day. But I also hope you join us for the next one. Like and subscribe. Bye, darlings.